All right, it's recording. <clears throat> All right, Grandpa, ready? Ready. So, do you want to... Is there anywhere that we could do this where you could see what I'm doing? Do you want a standard... Do you have anywhere to sit here? Do you have anywhere to sit? Maybe... Let's bring this bed over. Let's sit on this bed and get Alright, ready? Whoa, whoa. Alright, ready? Ready. Is it recording? Yeah. Alright, yeah, maybe put it right here. So, are you looking, Grandpa? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Let's make the form. So, <clears throat> about a few years ago, my grandpa told me about a model of personality, and he's the one who's recording right now, and he told me that there were, according to this model, that there's four types of people. That there is thinkers, emoters, emotional people, doers, and dreamers. This is a this was a respected model um, of personality. Now. I didn't like the model when I first heard it. Um, I, cause I didn't understand what dreamers meant. What does it mean to be a dreamer? It didn't seem to fit. It didn't seem to belong. I thought that there should be only three types of people. I can understand what a thinker was or what a emotional person was, a motor or a doer. But the dreamer, it didn't seem to fit in the in this model. But then I thought about it more. And as I thought about it, I thought that actually thinking and emotion aren't that different from each other. They're very interconnected. They're really interwoven and they bring about each other. They're different aspects of the same thing. So what I mean is our thoughts affect our emotions so if I'm thinking happy thoughts positive thoughts then I might have positive emotions if I'm thinking negative thoughts I have negative emotions I might be angry if I'm thinking um, you know about people being mean to me I might feel sad and also our emotions can affect our thoughts so if I smile you know, it's, it's proven if you smile, then it changes how your thoughts are. If you do certain things, you know, these, these are very interconnected. So these, I thought this is a duality. And I thought that also our emotions affect what we do. So these are very interwoven. So our thoughts affect our emotions. Our emotions affect what we do, our actions. So if I'm happy, then I might do positive things, do good things. You know, um, I might perform better in what I do if I'm happy. You know, it affects what you do. Your what, what your emotions are it affects what you do. What your thoughts are it affects what you do. So I thought that these are very interwoven. This is a triad. But still, I didn't like this. So I thought I narrowed it. You know, I I didn't like this model. I thought that you know dreaming didn't belong. But then I thought actually wait, dreaming is also interconnected with all of these because I remembered what my psychology professor talked about and she was saying that in our dreams we think we have emotions and we do things 
But the thing is that in our dreams, we are disconnected from our bodies. Um, we're actually paralyzed. And during our dreams, our bodies are paralyzed. And this is so we don't act out things in our bed. So if I'm running from a monster in a dream, I'm not going to be in my bed, you know, shaking my arms up and down and my legs, you know, going crazy because my body is paralyzed. So while I'm doing things, I'm thinking, I'm having emotions, I'm disconnected from my body. So dream dreaming is was separate from all these, but actually it encompassed all of them. So it transcended them, but it also encompassed all of these. So we had a quadrant, a quadrat. Now the next day, I drew a different model. In the first quadrant, I put contemplation. In the second quadrant, I put passion. The third quadrant, I put flowing or the zone flowing. And in the fourth quadrant, I put knowing. Now, let me give some definitions. What is thinking? Our thoughts are shaped by our egos. Our egos determine our thoughts, our identities determine what we think in a lot of ways. So if I consider myself a white person and I consider myself upper class, then this is going to affect how I think about the world. It's going to affect who, um, how I think about other people. You know, um, I would guess it does, yeah. Probably, that, that's, that's correct, right, Grandpa? So I consider myself a basketball player. I'll use this, I'll use this one because it's a better one. I consider myself a basketball player. Wait, what's going on? Oh, that's fine. We can just keep it plugged in, actually. It's not long enough. I'll stand over on this side. So I think of myself as a basketball player, then my thoughts are shaped by this. My 